The president of the ANC Women's League, Batabile Lamine, has engaged with students at Rhodes University today in the wake of the protests on campus against sexual crimes. She will also meet with Rhodes Vice-Chancellor Dr. Sizo Mabizela on the matter. And classes at Rhodes resumed yesterday. Meanwhile, a woman who is an alleged victim of a sex crime committed at Rhodes University has laid a charge. The man's name, who is alleged to have committed the crime to the woman, was posted on Facebook last week. University Chancellor, Vice Chancellor Dr. Sizo Mabizela says the university is working closely with the police on the matter. For more on the story, we're now joined on the line by reporter Lerado Tiba, who is in the area. Lerado, a very good afternoon to you. Look, we understand that uh, the ANC Women's League president addressed the students at the university today. Tell us what transpired there. It was actually more of a closed session, really. She didn't meet with the entire student body. She met uh, leaders specifically from the SASCO organization, and uh, she was very uh, close about what that meeting was about. But she pretty much said that it was to hear the student side of the story and to hear it from the leaders themselves. So she said that she had a meeting with members of SASCO, and they shared their grievances. They shared what they think the university should have done better and where they think the university can improve in terms of the sexual offenses happening on campus. Mm, how did the students react to this, particularly since they felt that the university wasn't handling their grievances to the best of their ability, Lerat? The students from the word go have been saying that up until the alleged perpetrators who are on the list that circulated last week on social media, up until those um, alleged rapists are taken off campus, the students are not going to feel safe. So we were talking to some students asking them that is the intervention of the ANC Women's League going to help in any way? And although they did appreciate the ANC Women's League coming down to show their support towards this cause, they still maintain that for as long as these alleged culprits are walking around on campus, walking around in their libraries, around some, some of them in their residence, they will not feel safe. So for them, their only justice to this whole issue is to have those who are on that list um, off campus. Lerato, we've just heard that uh, one of the female victims has now gone ahead and laid a charge. What can you tell us about that? We spoke to the police officer in Grandstown, Mary Gavin, and she couldn't say much on it. And also when we spoke to uh, VC Dr. Mabiza, he said not much can be said about that. It really is a sensitive issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did confirm that one student has come forward to lay charges. But at this stage, it's still under very intense investigation and no names. And they can also not give us how far they've gone in the investigation. All that information not be disclosed at this time because of the sensitivity of this case. So that's all we know for now. And all, that's all we can confirm that one person has gone forward. But as to how far they are with investigation and uh, the police cannot say that as yet. All right. Very quickly, Lerato, we also know that uh, there was a meeting that was supposed to take place with the vice chancellor. Has that taken place yet? What was the outcome or what will be discussed? Do you know? Um, the meeting did take place. It started around about 12 o'clock. It was actually a closed meeting that we were not allowed to attend. But we can confirm that we saw them going in. The meeting is taking place currently. The one thing that um, the ANC Women's League President, but, but Sila Jamini, wanted to focus on was to try and relook at uh, the harassment policy mm -hmm. that they personally feel that must be amended so that it suits the victims and not the perpetrators. So that's one of the policies they're going to look at. And also just to find out in terms of how far the task team has gone in trying to address the issue. Uh, because on the university side, that's the focus now to get the task team to be proactive in addressing this issue. So they're going to discuss those two things and also find ways within the campus to make students feel more safer. Lerato, in that meeting, very quickly, I mean, this just came up. Was the task team part of that meeting? Do you know? I'm not too sure as they cannot confirm whether they were or not. I know that the meeting was particular with the VC. They wanted to meet him specifically. Mm -hmm. And there were also members of staff with the meeting. But to my understanding, there was no task in there. It was specifically just to meet with the VC himself to find out what strides he has, has he has taken as a person obviously is overseeing the task team and what strides has he has, has he taken to address the issue. All right. Thank you for that update. Lerato Tipa on the line to us from Grahamstown reporting on the roads rape protest update. And Batabi Lidlamini, President of the NC Women's League visited the campus today.